I am just a person who cares um, about our community and about our community's animals. Oh my gosh, you're insane, you're insane. I'm Annika Ellis and today I'm visiting the Humane Society of Chittenden County. Hey girly, hey girly. This is Tekla. Tekla is um, passionate, sometimes to a fault. Um, my passion can get a hold of me um, and I can get a little too passionate about things. And I moved here from New York City where I actually worked in production on Broadway. I went to college for theater, I went to high school for theater, um, but then once COVID hit, obviously the theater industry and Broadway shut down. I found the customer care associate position uh, about a year ago. Um, and I don't think that I will ever do anything else. Um, I probably will work with animals for the rest of my life. So I work with our community members um, and um, I do adoption counselings, I do animal care, social media, enrichment, medication, pretty much what everyone needs me to do. Um, we all kind of pitch in and do everything around here for each other. I've never really been in a job or a position where I've ever felt so fulfilled and driven um, every single day. Um, and like actually feels like I'm making like, a, like hands on the ground, boots on the ground, like difference with our community. Our community here in like the Chittenden County, Grand Isle County area are amazing. Um, they are selfless and strong and it's been such a pleasure to work with them. Everyone is just always willing to help, even when it means bringing us a stray cat that is someone's outside cat. It always is just out of the goodness of people's hearts. We add a really wonderful resource to our community. Not only do we have our shelter here that works hands-on in like surrender prevention, helping people keep their animals, um, with things like our free food shelf and like our community pet clinic, which honestly has some of the most accessible pricing in any vet I really have ever seen. I think that we really do help save a lot of lives, both human and animal. Having access to animal welfare education means that our community is happier and healthier along with the animals that they have where most of our owner relinquishments come from is housing issues. Yeah. And people who love their animals so, so much have to choose between housing and their animals, often losing both. We have a temporary boarding program that works with people who are currently going through crisis, such as either being unhoused or fleeing a domestic violence situation. It really is one of the most selfless choices that people can make, is putting their animals' care into complete strangers. We always want to um, never lead with judgment, always lead with understanding um, and just really creating that open line of communication. We kind of like go through a roster um, of what do you need, how can we help, pretty much anything that we can do to keep your animals with you because really a, <laughs> um, a happy like community really is like happy animals. And yeah. it's, it's really important. You're drooling. We do see a lot of really, really difficult things, but we still show up every day. Um, we're still here. I lean on my own support system, um, which includes people outside of work and inside of work. It's, it's so amazing being able to come here every day and like snuggle the cats and the dogs. But it it does it takes a lot of energy and emotions because we are all so deeply passionate here. We show up every day and like if you need us, we're there. Um, and I guess that is something about myself as well is just like always being there to help. 
um, or just listen. What's most important to me really is like a happy and healthy community and world and um, that everyone just really treats each other with kindness and empathy and understanding. Do you have anything you'd like to add?